If you own or operate a WordPress website, there's a security plugin called Antivirus that I highly recommend. And I'm going to show you how it works and how to install it and set it up here in the next few minutes. So first, a quick shout out. This is a website for custom quilts and t-shirt quilts. It's called MoonlightQuilts.com. Check it out. Anyway, uh, there are some viruses out there that will attack your WordPress website. And the way they do it is they go into your theme files, which are the files that control how your website, how your WordPress website looks. And they will go into usually the header, but sometimes the footer or, you know, one of these random other files. And they'll insert some funny looking code. And I say funny looking because it doesn't look anything like human. Uh, this is not virus code, but this is very similar to what you're looking, what you would be looking for. Uh, it's a bunch of uh, random, seemingly random string of characters that doesn't really have a meaning. That is typically a danger sign. Anyway, uh, along with some other stuff that I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, so what we could do in the past was go through and check the sites that we managed and make sure that there wasn't any funny looking code in the uh, in the files or we could go through and check server logs to see if things were edited or whatever but it's time consuming and uh, there's a simpler way there's a plugin called antivirus so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on plugins there's a drop down here I'm gonna go to add new there's a plugin called antivirus and what it'll do is automatically check your theme files every day for uh, corruption. So the name of the plugin, I'm just going to search here using WordPress's automatic install feature. Search for antivirus. And the plugin we're working for is by, I believe his name is Sergey Mueller. Uh, I don't even want to try and, and pronounce it any other way, but I think that's it. Uh, right now, as of the end of July 2010, there's a version 0.8 out, but it's all one one word, and it's by this guy, Sergey. So uh, if you see if you see antivirus all one word that's probably the right plugin and over on the right I clicked install and then a, a better description comes up and I click on install now this automatic installer by the way a huge shout out to the WordPress development community for making that happen that is a huge time saver so anyway uh, antivirus point eight is installed I'm gonna activate the plugin here and then I'm gonna go to my uh, WordPress installations settings and I'm gonna set this thing up uh, you can't just install it, you actually have to go through and do a little setup first. So this plugin does three things. The first thing it does is it checks for a very specific security issue. It's called a permalink backdoor. And this checks for that to make sure that your site doesn't have it. The second thing it does is it will scan your templates on commands or a manual scan. I'm going to go ahead and do a manual scan now because that's, you need to do that before you can enable uh, a, a daily virus scan, at least one that's useful. So what we're going to see here is one of our theme files is clean, it's green, it nothing suspicious. Now we're going to see something in red here that's suspicious and, and what antivirus suspects is a PHP include statement. And what this means is it's saying to the, uh, to the server, hey, include this file. Uh, the, the path to the file is the path to our WordPress template dot sidebar one dot PHP. Uh, the reason that this is not a virus, the three reasons that this is not a virus. First of all, it's very obvious what this is. If, if I were writing a virus, I would try and disguise this uh, and make it look like something else. So the fact that it's just so clearly labeled means it's probably not a virus. The fact that it's short means it's probably not a virus. And third, I happen to know that this site is clean, so I know that it's not a virus. If you're not confident to make a judgment about whether or not your site has any viruses or not, then you probably want somebody else to do this for you. But uh, if you have a new website or if you have a brand new theme that you just downloaded from the theme provider, there's a pretty good chance there's no virus. So uh, you can go ahead and run this and be confident to tell it that, and this is what we need to do here, on all these items that are a warning, we need to click there is no virus. This is an important step. If we don't tell this plugin what to look for, uh, we'll get false warnings and it'll waste our time. So uh, we're going to check off all these things that are not a virus, and you'll know these are all the same PHP include statement. And once we have everything in the green, and this is a very small theme, so there's only seven files to check, uh, we can go ahead and enable a daily scan. So I'll put in my email address, I'll click that checkbox, and hit Save Changes. And now, every day, this website will be checked for viruses, and if, one, uh, if anything looks suspicious, I'll get an email and I can take action. So anyway, uh, thank you very much to the, to the programmer behind Antivirus, and if you own a WordPress site, go ahead and get this thing installed. Thanks for watching.